Welcome to another 3D comparison video. If you click on this thumbnail and you are curious about the perspective view and the parallel view within Katia, I will explain those within this video. So within this uh, thumbnail screen that I prepared, on the left side we have the perspective view and we see that the axis of those two motors for the propellers, they are not aligned, but on the right side we have the parallel view enabled and we're going to see that those will perfectly align. So let's see how we can adjust the render style within Katia V5. For that I will jump within the software. I already have the drone open and we can adjust that parameter at the top if you're going to go on view render style and we have the possibility to go from parallel to perspective. By default it's always recommended to stay in parallel. Perspective is mostly used if you want to do some renders and if you want to change the, let's say, the, the focal point and the point of view within that render. For example, if I will swap now to perspective, I will see that since the camera is positioned in front of the drone, I will have a larger overview of this, uh, this area. So this will be the e effect of the perspective view. If I will change the view to something like this, again view, render style, parallel, the drone will look like this and it will no longer be centered within that, uh, that, that frame. So I have the possibility to click on fit all, that will center the model and now again we can swap that, perspective and parallel. This is even more obvious if you are going to go within um, a predefined view. For example, I'm going to swap over here to top view. The model is not aligned since it was not created in CATIA, it was modeled in SOLIDWORKS and we have the Y and Z axis inverted between those two softwares. So I swap to this predefined view and we're going to see that as we take a look at the model, we're going to see again that this axis for the front propeller is not align within the same plane with this one, but this is just a visualization, uh, let's say, problem. If I'm going to swap again to parallel, we're going to see that those two will be perfectly aligned. So by default, it's always recommended to remain in parallel, as I said before. To highlight this uh, when sketching, I'm going to go within this new part. I have a plane over here and I'm going to sketch, trace a sketch over here, for example, a rectangle. And now since I'm in parallel view, I have the possibility to align using the, the constraint. I can align this with the axis of the propeller. But in, uh, in other cases, if I won't have that enabled, so maybe I would be in render style perspective. Again, I'm going to swap to normal tool. And I will see that I have the possibility to position this sketch according to this axis. It will be that one. And also the possibility to align it again with, with this axis. And I'm going to see that I'm going to have that dimension. So over here it's also important when we align it to keep it within the same object. For example, with the housing of the motor, we're going to receive that axis on this extruded height over here. It will be 97.92. Uh, and the same for that uh, in the back. I'm going to zoom in and position over here and we're going to see that there is a slight uh, offset between those, but not as uh, high as we see it within this view. So if I'm going to go back to render style parallel, we're going to see that those are slightly misaligned by, uh, by this amount. So the difference between those. The same, can, um, the same workflow can be applied even if you're going to use the cut part uh, by uh, by sketch plane. So in this case, um, we're going to have a clipping plane that will only show us what is behind that plane. But we also have the possibility to change that. So 
So I just gonna need to change that since it will be over constrained. But for example, if this plane uh, should be way in the front, something like 1000 millimeters, if I'm gonna go back within that sketch, frame everything, and uh, cut by plane, we're gonna see that only the front of the of the model and uh, some of these propellers from the front will be trimmed, while we have the view on the other elements. So keep in mind that it's really important to have the software set to parallel render style, especially when you are modeling and tracing and constraining everything. But if you want to do some uh, rendering, you can go within, uh, within the perspective. So I hope uh, you find this video useful. If so, uh, let me know uh, by either commenting on the video or give me a thumbs up. Or why not consider to subscribe if you want uh, if you want more content similar with this one. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.